hopefully this is not going to go off because I seem to be having trouble with the signal. So I'm just going to wait and see if we can get some people here and then we'll get going. So I'll just invite some of you. So I was going to have a lazy night but I know myself and I will just sit there thinking of things I have to do. So I thought I may as well do some of the stuff I was going to do Friday instead. Which was one of them doing a live video. And I have something I just sort of had <laughs> to think about. So I've not really planned this one so we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to invite some of you along. Please do share if you don't mind. And we'll see if we can get some people watching. So I know I didn't plan this one, so we might not. And it's quite late. So what time is it? Half seven. We're not that late. So let's see what happens. Um, I shall turn the camera around. Oh, hi, Mike. So you can see some of the stuff I'm planning <laughs> while I carry on inviting you. Um, so what I'm going to be working on today is the last full sheet I have in my kit left. Watercolour Party Splash by Ella and Biv. And I'm going to be using the gel that's in the kit as a resist medium. So we'll do some skills here that might help you. And I'm going to be using some items actually from the January kit as well. The gold paint, I'm going to be using a bit of that. I think there was something else, but I can't remember what now. So, I'll go ahead and get started in a minute. See if we can get some people watching. Oh, thank you for sharing if that was Mike. I guess it was you, Mike. Facebook's changed so much lately. I don't know what I'm doing half the time now. I can't work the camera. When I finish doing this, I'll pop this up in the stand so you're not shaking around as much. So I went to the show this week. Turn your back round to me. Went to the show in Birmingham this week. And I have to say I wasn't very impressed. Um, bought for paper crafters and mixed media. There was very little there. There was A-A-L-L. -L, I hope I've said that correctly. Um, Artois de Moi. If you've seen his stuff. That was quite interesting. So have a look into that. And a couple of companies, yeah, okay-ish, but then when I looked into them a bit more, mm, not really. So I wasn't that impressed, really. Uh, there were some talks that were useful there for me, but product-wise, not an awful lot. So I think I'm going to explore Germany shows next year. There's a big sort of European show in Germany. Okay, so I don't know if anybody's watching, but I might just go and get started and hopefully you'll join me. Uh, let's just invite a couple more. It's good that I can invite you now, but you can't invite before you start, so that's why I'm twittering on at the moment, so I do apologise. If you are watching, it'd be good if you could invite before it started. I don't know if you can do that. Maybe you can and I need to look into that. Right, that's enough. Let's get started. So I'm going to pop it up in the frame. Oops. 
Never seems to work when I press it now. Turn around. <laughs> After about ten times. I really, really need to get my tripod. Okay, so let's make sure you can see me. Okay, so this is the paper. It's got quite a shiny finish on it. So the first step that I'm going to do is to add some clear gesso um, to this white section. I'm not going to do much down here because that's obviously, you know, the paper itself is very busy. So I'm going to use clear gesso. White gesso would be fine as well. So I love this brush. This is a Dale Rowney one. It's really good for stuff like this. So I'm just going to give a quick rough coat of this to this white section. Um, I tend to use the white gesso, but I have thought lately it would make a lot more sense for me to use clear. Uh, first impression, it seems slightly thinner. Um, I think that that's because this is not heavy gesso. I may be incorrect, but this doesn't say heavy gesso like the others do. So I think that is why it's a bit thinner, but we're only using it on paper, so that doesn't matter. And the good thing is, being thinner, it should dry quicker. I can see that's almost dry without me even bothering to use the heat tool, but I will give it a quick blast. dry. If I can share, that's it, that's what I want. No. No, okay. Right, I can forget that. Okay, so that's dry now. Then what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use the gel as a resist. Because we've got a lot going on down here, I want to add some colour but I don't want too much so I'm going to use the gel from the kit, the February kit, which you can still buy, thompsoncraftsupplies.co.uk, look in the kit section. So I don't want too much colour so I'm going to use this as a resist. Now, do I want triangles? Or this I think I like these crosses. Um, this is very busy, so I'm going to just do, I want this to go sort of behind where my other elements are going to go. So I'm going to work in a kind of diagonal. I seem to like working diagonals lately. So when this is dry, when we add any wet medium, this is going to resist that. It may look like it goes on at first, but then when it's dry, you can wipe back over that area and it should then come off again. Obviously make sure the gel is dry before you add the wet medium. Yeah. 
and I've just laid that right on top of there so I've probably smushed a bit of that now but that's okay so I'll just move that out of the way for a second and just clean my stencil get my baby all um, do be careful you don't wreck your stencils when doing this this one's not got any fine details and it's quite thick plastic so I don't have to be as careful but do be careful if it's really really fine I wouldn't do this just go straight in a bowl with some warm soapy water this is just good enough for what you're crafting to clean off the worst the way this gel's good but I do find it smells a little bit funny it's not the nicest smell right so you see that we'll just dry that and then we can go in I'm going to be using brushos today which will actually be my first time I've watched loads and loads of videos on them I've not used them before and um, we will soon have some Lindy's Magicals which are the same idea as um, brusho, the powder that you activate with water um, but obviously the magicals match the colours of the ink sprays so I want this to be fairly dry for when I start adding my wet medium a bit tacky Hi Kesha I'm just going to leave that for a second and while that's going I'll get these open so I'm going to use a Lindy's spray which is where's it gone sassy oh that's really awkward for me to say I struggle with s's sassy sapphire I am doing a layout kasha with the last of my papers um watercolor splash party and I'm going to be using some brushos. So at the moment, I am using the gel from the kit do, 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 as a resist medium. So I'm just going to open up the brushos. The brushos I'm using are turquoise and the purple. Once I get into them. Now these. Lindy's Magicals have like a shaker on them, so you don't need to worry, but brushes I believe don't, so yeah, brushes are just, the light's not great in here, I don't know if you can see that that well, so they're just straight in there, so I would advise using something like a palette knife. There you go, you can see it better in this one. There we go. So maybe I probably should have given them a shake actually. Let's give it a shake. Ooh, I can't get it open again. Okay, so this looks very different to this. 
this is more powdery this is like crystal so that's interesting so I'm just gonna take a tiny bit like this and just tap this around and on that area I just used the um, gel on sorry I'm concentrating <laughs> apparently I can't do both So I know that you don't need very much of these. So I'm going to stop there and see what that looks like. So you just sprinkle them on. Hi Joanna. And you can see it's just a tiny bit I've used. Then to activate them, just get a water spritzer. And you'll see the magic happen. Look at that. You punch the lid with a ball pin and leave inside the lid giving you a shaker brush oh, there you go excellent tip there from kasha oh, this is yummy i like these mm, great colors look at that so obviously the more you spray look at that lovely colors so i'm gonna get these running and they move around very nicely i'm loving that color i'm gonna put a little bit more of the purple on Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Get that moving. Mm, yeah, these are really good. And because I've got gesso on this top bit, that's going to stay nicely. I'm just moving this around. You can see that pattern emerging there where that gel is. Okay, and I should have got some kitchen roll. I'm just going to grab some kitchen roll. Excuse me. I'm going to mop this up while I got too much and I will keep the kitchen roll so they make really good journal backgrounds it's like even on it's a nice colour isn't it even on kitchen roll so I'm just tapping back a bit of that colour where it's a bit wet And then when we dry this, we'll wipe away where the gel is and that will give us a nice pattern there. So I'll just get the heat gun. Oh, hi, Grace. Ooh. Right, let's give that a try. Blue is lovely. I bet Grace will like that. Okay, Grace. Enjoy. <laughs> um. Before I finish that sassy 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 <laughs> different effects on watercolour card you'll get some feathery edges that's interesting to know Kasha so I'm just adding a bit of this sassy sapphire <laughs> 